All right, YouTube. Let's make a quick video talking about my Colt M4 LE lower. It's pretty old school, cool. These are pretty historic because these were made during the 1994 to 2004 Federal Assault Pits ban. These were sold to law enforcement agencies designed just for them. So with that, it did have restricted features that were not allowed during the ban. And that's why they were marked by Colt from the factory, restricted military government use only. Pretty cool. Besides that, it's pretty old standard coat lower. We got the H buffer, full position buffer tube, the mill spec waffle stock. It does have the auto seal block. Colt did that even on the law enforcement series. Standard mill spec trigger. And standard trigger pins. These are not oversized. For a period of time, they did oversized trigger pins, but it's kind of a Seems sporadic when they actually get it. Besides that, nothing too fancy. You know, standard trigger guard, standard magwell. This was, this particular one was a police surplus lawyer. That's typically how they are found in commercial or, you know, civilian hands. These are typically used by police department and then sold on the second hand market once they upgrade to different rifles. Because these lowers are quite old, Obviously, you're not going to find any new supply of these, and if you do, you're going to pay a premium to find a new condition. In this case, an M4LE lower. So, let's get into the next part. Alright, so let's start off with collectability. These lowers are very collectible for a few reasons that I'll get into. One of them is it's not made like they used to be. Now, why do I say that? The new quotes for the last few years have changed a few things. They've changed the roll mark. So, for example, the new Colts now just say carbine. And they also changed it so it's laser etched. Laser etched is very shallow. It's very uniform. And it's kind of the in industry standard now. You kind of can see lots of manufacturers switching over to it for a bunch of reasons. But these are the old ones. This is machined, engraved. Looks very nice. It's very deep. Cosmetically, it looks very good compared to what they are nowadays. A few other things, uh, new Colts are not staked. Out of all the lowers I've seen, Colts have the best stake. It's staked in two places per mil spec. And from all the different lowers, these have been the best. I've compared BCM, I've compared lots of different companies, Tenure Defense, and I've always found that Colt, I believe they do it with machine, has a very uniform and aggressive stake, and that's something I like to see. The cool factor is, as well, the reasons that people spend a premium on these lowers is the restricted military government use Walmart on this side. It's a Colt, which is correct for clone builds. It has a really cool Walmart that you're not going to see anymore. It's kind of a relic of the 1994 Assault Weapons Bay. There's that. Let's get into the next part. 